orbiting is an installation piece that is circled around a machine. And the machine creates floating objects uh, with very um, particular material. And uh, these objects find a particular choreography in the space. And the idea is also to create a very unreal atmosphere with that. No one has ever done it to make or to make the machine that produces a floating object. So that's uh, from the scientific or engineering point of view, it's really interesting. So right now, we're still looking for a new material that is very low density. We were trying everything we could do in a very fun way. So that's why I think we found the material from very daily object, like a glass or bubble. It may take like three years more, but if as long as we have this like final goal to be realized, I think this process, every step is really meaningful. Hiroshi Ishii is a scientist that has a very artistic approach towards processes of production, processes of research. He has a very good idea of the aesthetical outcome of it. And also in this work with the Tangible Media Group, I think there's a clear awareness that aesthetics adds some kind of meaning to an object or to a machine that goes beyond the pure functionality. Well, artistically, Tom projects a lot of the meaning. He wants to make many objects which represent cultural symbol floating in the air, circulating, and then disappear. Process is very ephemeral, and usually we have final artifacts, like objects. Like in a scientific work, published paper is a final product. But all the process, struggle, discussion, prototyping, fading, uh, laughing or crying, never be captured. But that has a real essence of the collaboration or joy or the value. If you work with many people who have different perspectives, you can really expand your scope and the boundaries. As an engineer and a scientist, uh, that really piqued my interest because I feel like in art you can ask these sorts of questions that aren't practical and that maybe have no immediate function or utility, but uh, ultimately push the bounds of what we can think of and what we can do. If you want to make stuff float, you need a very, very thin, uh, pliable, uh, elastic material that you can kind of blow up and maximize the surface area to volume ratio. Tom, uh, for this orbiting project, wanted to do the opposite. He wanted a uh, material that was rigid, that could be molded into a shape, and then right as it's molded and inflated with helium could just float away off of a, off of a fabrication machine. And here it was really just a simple question. Can you make stuff float uh, that takes on new geometries and has new properties? And what is the fabrication technology you need to do that? All the stuff floating in the air, it's something very, very strongly imprinted our brain. So even project does not reach that point. Hope we can keep dreaming the uh, world which, can, which, which we can really control the gravity. They make things uh, float in the air at our will.